Hello boys and girls. Welcome to our assembly. Now we are going to show you our working car proof. We are going to see some great work from Charlotte, Gemma, Charlesman, and some other people in your free. Some children will also read their work to you. Enjoy. Hey everybody, my name is G, G from 3D. Today I'm going to tell you how Kaproof works. On Kaproof you can make movies, cards, stories, drawings, doodle pads, or pictures. Every class made a story on Kaproof, and it works like this. You get to choose a background, and you pick it. One and then, there are some pictures on the side, and you can choose some pictures of characters or you can just type in what you want to find to find in the search box. They'll find it for you and you drag it into your background and you can s say something you'll see in a moment. To make a story we choose a scene and add your images. In Kaproof you can choose more than one page but you don't have to if you don't want to. We didn't we all chose to make funky stories from real ones like Charm Chocolate Factory or Pirates of the Caribbean. Where are we by Charlotte Pirates? One day a little doggy buffer went chasing after a lotus. Buffer chased after the lotus for a long time that after a couple hours, Buffer fell asleep on an island, for he was too tired to swim back. When Buffer woke up, he realized that he was really not on a island, he was really on a volcano. When the stranger took me to his house, it was full of dogs. One dog looked like a firefighter, the other dog was dressed up. His real owner must have been a seamstress. One looked like it came from the circus, and the last dog looked like it came from the doctor. Oh, I knew this place would be trouble. When I fell asleep, I found out I was not in Malaysia. I was in Malaysia, not Vietnam. I decided to escape. That night, I hopped on a plank of wood and paddled away. In the morning, I woke up and the river was frozen. Brrr, I'm, it was cold, even though I'm a husky. I decided to sit down and wait for some people to come. But instead of people, I saw animals. I went over to ask if they could help me. Kindly, the animals took me to Icy Land. It was a little warmer, so I settled down to have a nap. I dreamt that I did a cartwheel. In the morning, another husky came over calling, Rise and shine! They all followed Buffer to another land. Suddenly, a strong wind picked up Buffer and carried him away. Help! The wind dropped Buffer on the, sign, on the sand. Finally, he was home. Where were you, Buffer? Woof! The end. Bunny Clown in Town. I am a clown. Rosie. Hi, Gigi. My name is Gigi. Over a few days, a funny clown came to town, and everyone loved her. She could juggle 26 bottles of water and 90 giraffes, and even 10 people. So after that, she went home. The next morning, she had a shower. When she was getting changed, she looked up at her dressing table, and she had no more makeup left. If she went outside, everyone would know who she really is. Then she stopped crying. When she looked up, she saw some pieces of paper, and they were different colors. So she had an idea. She took some paper and got some glue. Then she stuck the glue on the paper and went outside to the shop. When she went inside, she looked on the shelves and went to the front desk. And the shopkeeper said, Hi, do you have any makeup? 
The shopkeeper said, no, sorry. The funny clown went home and if she had no more makeup left, she would have to glue the colored paper to her face again. When is it getting spring? By Femke 3A. Once a pup in time, there were a lot of animals. They all said, when is it going to be spring? Winter was taking a long time. They were very cold and hungry. One of them thought it might be a month, and another thought it might be a week. The weather was st very strange, so they waited and waited, and getting more and more hungry. It was getting colder and colder. The animals didn't know it was winter. One of the animals had an idea. They wanted food and needed to get it. The rabbit said, let's look behind the trees and see if they have food. So she did. She looked behind one and one more and more, but she haven't found it yet. They were happy. Now they knew it was winter. winter. Nobody had forgotten that day when it was winter. The end. The Unknown Vampire by Martin Vallet. Once upon a time there lived an unknown vampire. He was very bored and his name is Martin. Martin always wanted to have his wife. The next day he saw a poster said there will be a dance party and everybody is invited to the dance. Vampire don't go out in the morning, it's, and it was morning, and everybody felt cold. Everybody wanted the sun. Martin said, how will he go to the dance with the sun shining? Maybe my ghost friend, cold freak, could go instead. What? said freak. No, 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 said freak. So Martin, the unknown vampire, decided to go to Earth to find a wife at the dance. As soon as Martin, the unknown vampire, got to earth, he saw the castle wall. The dance was good, very good. A wife must be there, said Martin. Then Martin said, maybe I don't need a, a wife. So Martin went back to his hometown. The end. Hope you enjoy watching and listening to our work. Why not try it yourselves at www.curlproof.com? Goodbye.